Hey guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the ultimate kale guide, okay? So this goes from the washing process to how I meal prep it to my favorite salad recipe. And in that recipe, I also share with you guys a major tip on how I make kale edible for lack of a better word, and if we're keeping it real. I find it can be a bit challenging to really incorporate kale into your life, but because it's a superfood, I know so many of us, and myself included, really do have the intention to consume it on a regular basis, and for good reason, because it is really stored with so many nutrients. But that being said, I find that if, you, if I don't have a system in place for me to easily consume kale throughout the week, I'm so much less likely to do so. So I've really taken years to nail this perfect routine that I do once a week, and it really just makes the entire process so much easier and effortless. It takes me about 20 to 25 minutes every week, and you know, you really get better at it as you go. I like to usually put on a podcast, a TV show, or just use it as like a meditative moment for myself once a week when I do my meal prep. And I'm telling you guys, it is an absolute game changer because now on those weeks, during the week, I have an abundance of kale just waiting for me. It's washed and all I have to do is add it to my salads and chop up some other veggies. So yeah, I'm really excited to see you guys sometime. And also, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite kale recipe. It has a lot of protein in it as well as my signature salad dressing. Now, I have been using this dressing for years and it has never failed me. And I'm really excited to share that with you guys as well. So stay tuned and we're going to get right into this video. Also, I'm going to be sharing a little clip of a bug that I found in my kale because it's always in the same spot around the stem so i wanted to show that to you guys but i did want to give a disclaimer to like close your eyes for 30 seconds right after this clip in case you don't want to see it in case you don't want to be traumatized in any way shape or form i totally respect that so be sure to close your eyes but otherwise i just wanted to include it because this has happened on several occasions and this is honestly what actually inspired the most thorough kale cleaning routine ever because there are some things as protein packed as they are you don't want in your salad but other than that, we're gonna get right in, and I'm so excited. This is probably, most likely, gonna change your life. In case you're wondering why I am so thorough with my cleaning and why there are so many steps to the kale routine, this is why. You know, it's beautiful. <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful when it happens in nature, but not in my salad. So this is a really, really good reason why, at least like if you're not like soaking your kale in salt water, that is a step that I do sometimes skip when necessary or from like a time crunch but either way you always like really want to just like run your hands all over the kale and just kind of inspect it as you wash it what you guys are going to need for this kale cleaning routine is some kale a sea salt of your choice i love pink himalayan sea salt as well as a large bowl this is what we're going to use to soak and rinse the kale in so the bigger the better and we're also going to need a towel and I suggest you know, using a towel that you don't really care about just in case the kale does stain. You're gonna add one tablespoon of sea salt into the bowl and as well as some warm water. I like, I like to start it off with some really warm water, borderline hot, just to really melt the salt and get it to dissolve. And then I follow up with some cooler water once it's already dissolved. And just be sure to give it a really good mix. Okay, so now this is a really, really important step because this is kind of where I scan my kale for any unwanted visitors, or technically I'm the unwanted visitor because any theoretical bugs came first, but you know what I mean. I'm really running my hands over every friggin' crevice of the kale, and I do this for both sides. And what I really like about this is it's more of like a manual cleaning process. And when I'm done with that, I just break it off into little chunks around the stem because you do not want to include the stem. I know some people keep it and cook with it i personally don't do that um, but maybe i should so i'll keep that in mind but just letting you know and i add those little pieces into the bowl another thing to remember as you place the pieces of kale into the bowl is to really mix them up and make sure that they're all like circulating in the water because you want the water to touch as much of the kale's surface as possible because that salt really does help disinfect and just clean everything off okay so now it's time to give the kale a really good rinse i like to use cool water for it but honestly whatever you prefer 
and I like to do this process several times just to really make sure that the scale is getting a very good clean and once again you guys this process is not something that I would do on a daily basis but I do feel it's required in order to give kale a really good clean, which is why I'm really emphasizing making it a part of a meal prep routine. I love doing it on Sundays. I find it even very therapeutic as well. Um, and it makes you feel really good about yourself too because you know you are putting a lot of love, effort, and attention into preparing something that is so healthy for you. And that right there is a beautiful thing. So for the next step, we are going to dry the kale. So you just want to spread out the kale nicely and evenly because when we're drying it, you want the towel to be able to collect and absorb as much water from the surface area as much as possible. So yep, I just like to really get all up in there and <laughs> absorb and get as much of the water as possible. And honestly guys, I used to skip this step and what I would do, and this is also an option if you are not really feeling this towel, that's totally fine. What I would do is kind of leave it on, leave it onto several plates and just let it air dry for a couple hours. But because I usually find myself doing this routine during the nighttime and I want to get my kale into the fridge overnight, um, I find myself manually drying it. But it is an option to do this routine in the morning. That way you can just leave the kale out in a couple bowls and it should be all nice and air dried so that you could pack it up and store it away in the fridge at night. Okay guys, so we are done that. We have some beautiful, fresh, and clean bug-free kale. No offense to the bugs. And now we're going to store it away um, in the refrigerator because that's where you store kale. This is a major hack that I want to share with you guys. This really does help you remember when you store the kale. And now you guys have kale prepped and ready for your entire week. And it's so great because you can literally do anything you want with it. So first thing I do, pop it into a bowl. I like to just break it up into smaller pieces. Sometimes I chop it up, but like honestly today I was just totally okay with ripping it apart. And this is where the hack comes in. So you want to drizzle some olive oil or any oil of your choice over this kale because what we're going to do is massage the heck out of it. And this makes it so much easier to eat. I find if I don't do this, it's just way too crunchy. But this is really nice because it kind of blends in with the rest of your salad you don't really notice it but um you get all the nutrients anyways and you get an extra boost of olive oil for this beautiful salad what you're going to need is cucumber pepper tomato beets avocado and you don't see it yet but you will quinoa Okay, so now we're gonna get on to the salad dressing. You're gonna need olive oil, balsamic vinegar, Dijon mustard, maple syrup, garlic. So I normally don't measure the salad dressing, so I was doing my best to provide you guys with some sort of measurement, so just work with me here. You want approximately four tablespoons or just the majority of it being olive oil. And this makes a huge salad, by the way, <laughs> like a meal one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar about half ish of a tablespoon of dijon mustard and another half tablespoon of maple syrup add as much garlic as you want it's really good for the immune system and some italian seasoning i go ham here some black pepper with a weird hack some salt And this has been a game changer for me, you guys. I got these little mason jars from the dollar store and I only make my salad dressing in them. And it just really gives like a very thorough mix. Now we're gonna add quinoa, which is really high in protein. I think it's another superfood and it just goes so beautifully with the salad. And this is arguably one of the most important parts of making a good salad um, I spent a really solid couple minutes giving it a very thorough mix because you really want the salad dressing to get into every crevice and thus into every bite and yeah you just keep going at it I like doing it with a spoon and a fork and really lifting it up you know the drill <laughs> 
all right you guys and there we have it a beautiful salad and i really hope you guys enjoy